how to install twrp recovery on the poco f3 the xiaomi mi 11x or the redmi k40 hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and we have a new build of twrp by washist so hats off to him for pulling this off and this is for the poco f3 mi 11x or redmi k40 now do note all the resources all the links telegram channels groups xda threads everything is linked in the description of this video and here are a few features and fixes of this latest twrp First up, let us go ahead and install this and then we can talk about all the different features and why this is like super exciting stuff anyways. So I do have the POCO F3 which is right now running MIUI 12.0.5.0 based on Android 11. However, this process will work even if you have the Redmi K40 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. They are the same devices, rebrands sold as different names and different regions next up what are the prerequisites for starters you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and video for that can be found in the description of this video next question i will get is will there be data loss well there will be no data loss let us do one thing let us go ahead and take a picture and then if i go into the gallery application you will see i have this picture so this is taken just to prove that there is no data loss next thing you need is access to a computer and for installing twrp on your device for the first time you do need access to a computer or if you have another phone you can use that also so we do have a video for that linked in the description of this video next thing i recommend you do is you can go into settings password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock and why are we removing this we are removing this just to be sure and you can always add it back later next thing we need to do is we need to boot into fast boot mode so for starters turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold volume down and power volume down and power at the same time till you see the fast boot logo so here is the me bunny fast boot logo and at this point connect your phone to the computer so here we are on the computer and if you get the message of press any key to shut down on your phone means you're using a usb 3.0 port so try using a usb 2.0 port another possibility is you have an amd computer in which case there's a zip file which is linked in the description of this video unzip it it's called amd fix execute the batch file as admin and reboot your computer another possibility is that your device was not detected at all which means you do not have the drivers installed so the drivers are also linked in the description of the video download the file unzip execute as admin and reboot your computer now here are the files which you need so you do need adb and fastboot now i do recommend you download this from the official android developer website again links to everything are in the description of the video and then here is the boot image which we need so this platform tools has adb and fastboot and this of course is an archive file so first up we do need to unzip this and i am using winrar you can use any software which you want to so right click the file and select extract here now once the process has finished successfully if i go inside this folder you will see here and i have adb and i also have fast boot over here next up what you need to do is you need to take this boot image right click say cut and then go inside the platform tools folder and here in go ahead and paste this so now you have your boot you also have fast boot inside the same folder next up select and highlight the address bar so once you tap on it everything should be highlighted and here in type in cmd and press the enter key as soon as you do that you will notice we are now in command prompt and we are inside the folder as well so if i do a dir space slash p and press the enter key you will notice i do have the fast boot over here and i also have the boot image which we had transferred so all the files everything is inside one folder next thing we need to do is whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not so the command for that is fast boot devices and once you have entered the command press the enter key and there it is you can see the device is being detected in fast boot mode and of course if your drivers are working it will be detected but we still have to check just to be sure next thing we need to do is we need to boot into the twrp recovery so the command for that is fast boot 
space boot and name of the file in this case name of the file is boot.img so once that is done enter the command go ahead and press the enter key and at this point your phone will boot into twrp recovery so there it is the phone just restarted and you should see the twrp recovery logo pretty soon here it is team win recovery at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer because we do not need the computer anymore so we are on the home screen of twrp do note it is still not installed we have just booted into it how do you install it go into advanced and herein you should see the option for flash current twrp and then swipe to confirm now the process has finished successfully and do not record this error but this can be ignored and everything else finished without any issues so there were no errors or nothing like that next up all you need to do is say reboot system so we have booted back into miui let us go into settings and then we can go into about still running 12.0.5 based on android 11 poco f3 let us go into gallery we still have the picture which we had taken so there was no data loss next up let me go ahead and set up a pin so we can check for encryption so screen lock let us set it to pin and let me set it up so I have added a pin and next thing let us go ahead and boot into TWRP. So standard process, turn off your device and then press and hold power and volume up together till you see the TWRP recovery logo. So here it is, we do have the team win recovery logo and of course it is asking us for the password. So password I have set is all zeros for now. Tap on the check mark attempting to decrypt decrypted without any issues let us go into install and bam as you can see i am able to access my internal storage without any issues and before you ask me do we need to flash magic for twrp recovery to stick on stock me ui well the answer to that is no and there it is we have successfully installed the latest twrp by washist on our Poco F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Now, those of you who want to stick around, know why this is super exciting, feel free to stick around. Now, another question which I might get a lot is how do you root when you are using this specific version of TWRP. So, TWRP was installed and of course you do not need Magisk for TWRP to stick on this specific device and still I am on 12.0.5.0 based on Android 11. I have of course installed the Magisk APK or the Magisk app. This in no way means that the device is rooted because Magisk here says not applicable which means the device is not rooted. So next up let us go ahead and turn off our device and then use the standard process of pressing and holding power and volume up together till we see the recovery logo so here we are on the home page of twrp now of course to root you do need to download the latest magisk link for which can again be found in the description of the video so let us go into install and now we need to look for the magisk apk if you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder in my case it is in the root directory or my internal storage because i transferred it manually so select this file and then what you need to do next is make sure this option is not checked to root uncheck the option of inject twrp after install because if this is checked then twrp will replace magisk so we have unchecked this option and now we are going to swipe to confirm flash in the meantime while magisk is flashing you need to remember that when you're flashing a custom rom or updating your custom rom then make sure that specific option is checked because if inject twrp is not checked then you are going to lose your TWRP recovery whenever you install or update your custom ROM. Anyways, for now, everything is done. Let us go ahead and reboot into system. And there it is. We have successfully booted back into MIUI and of course still running 12.0.5.0 based on Android 11. Let us open the Magisk app and here it is. You can see now Magisk is not applicable. In fact, we have the version 23.0. So device was rooted without any issues. Next up, let us check if TWRP recovery is still there because I did 
PM or DM Vashist and he told me it will not be replaced. So again, thanks to Vashist for helping us out with my query and here it is standard protocol TWRP recovery is still present and it was not replaced by Magisk once we rooted our POCO F3 Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. So why is this TWRP like super exciting? For starters, you do need to know or realize that this device, the Mi 11X or the POCO F3 or the Redmi K40 is a virtual AB device. Feel free to, you know, Google what that means, but have a look at that feature set for now. So you do not need to reboot TWRP after flashing a ROM. Any G apps, anything you want to flash, any other zips will automatically be flashed to the new slot. So yes, you do have AB slots. Shameless plug, but I did make a video about Moto X4 AB slots. So I will link that in the description of the video. Those of you who want to know more about AB slots and get an idea because that will tell you why this is super exciting. Then you also need not flash TWRP every time after flashing the ROM. TWRP will flash itself automatically. Recovery on this device is inside the boot. Boot is your kernel. So every time you flash a ROM, the boot is replaced. Or every time you update your ROM, boot aka kernel is replaced. Now, you do have recovery inside the boot. So this is again super exciting. Another step avoided. Then of course it supports the hentai OS encrypted devices. It also supports flashing stock MIUI zips. So now if you have to go back to stock, you do not have to go to a computer and use the Mi Flash tool. Do it from the phone itself. And of course, there are some known limitations as well. And if there is interest, I can, you know, make a video on those limitations, but I'm pretty sure they might be able to figure something out and those limitations might go away. They might not, do not take my word for it. And of course, we do need to give credits to Nebrasi as well for the original TWRP device tree for the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. And yeah, hats off to Vashist for pulling this off. The device was crowdsourced, but he did put in some great hard work behind this build. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.